Hey guys, Dubmaster Khan here. Today we're going to be looking at Audio Things Outer Space plugin. It is a emulation of a cult classic tape delay and reverb unit, um, and you can hear it on countless reggae and dub productions and albums from yesteryear. Uh, anyways, there's a bunch of videos on the net showing all the parameters and the settings and stuff. I'm not going to be showing too much of that today, but I will be showing how this can be implemented into a live dub scenario so anyways i got a track here um it's about 30 tracks or so and we got drums here some percussion bass rhythm section horns more pianos and guitars and then everything is routed to like a subgroup or a bus so these drums are routed to the output bus 10 here's bus 10 here the drum bus and so on and so forth for all of these and then that brings us to the highlight of the video here our send tracks so we have a one single reverb send track and one single delay send track so here's our reverb the outer space set to reverb only mode and wet only for a um, dub application here with the uh, send mode and so let's just take a listen here i'll solo up sort of the rhythm section and we'll take a listen so this is raw i'm going to just begin to add a little bit of reverb so you can hear it it's such a rich sound They did such a good job emulating this. I love it. I turned the bass down here. Let's turn that back up. So for me, I, I like my bright reverb. So anyways, that's sort of the uh, reverb. Now let's introduce a bit of the delay here. So this is yet again the outer space plugin set to echo mode number three and so that's tape head number three on one eighth D mode. And um, this is like my favorite uh, time signature for reggae. It's like what King Tubby and scientists use the most, I feel. Um, anyways, let's listen to that. Nope, I got to unmute it. Man, I just love that. And if you use the newer tape, it kind of de doesn't degrade as fast. See, it kind of stays the same for longer, but if you switch it to the old mode, it's a little less top end and it just degrades and kind of... It's just more gritty. I don't know how to explain it. It's just more like analog and old sounding. Oh man, I love it. So anyways, let's start playing around with some uh, some live dub here. Just start the track over. And so what I'm going to do, and I've kind of already done it a little bit, is just add some tasteful amount of reverb to sort of every track. And then I will bring elements in and out and uh, do the dub thing. So listen and uh, yeah, go check this plugin out. It's like $50, uh, 50 euro, depending on where you're at. And you can find it at audiothing.net. So here we go.
anyways, you guys get the idea. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go check out Outer Space at audiothing.net. Peace.